Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn a little bit about reptile sight and their lighting needs indoors compared to reptiles out in the wild. Now most reptiles love to bask and need sunshine to be healthy, but it varies for different species. Their eyes, skin, and habitats are all different. First you have a few like chuck wallows, bearded dragons, and even tortoises that in the wild are seen spending a lot of hours in bright sunshine with high UV levels where readings can peak between 3 and 400 on a solar meter 6.2 UVB test meter and over 100 to 150,000 lux on the lux meter. While sun-loving reptiles like green iguanas tend to prefer strong light and UVB levels in the mornings and afternoons, with UVB readings between 75 and over 200, and lux readings approximately between 20,000 and 100,000 lux, while avoiding the highest levels around midday, which could reach a UVB reading of 400 or more, and lux readings of 120,000 or more. Then there are other types of rainforest species, such as chameleons, which tend to avoid strong light and UVB because of their sensitive skin, while other types of chameleons do not. Then leopard geckos, who may get small amounts around dusk and dawn, and at very low levels can produce very large amounts of D3 in their sensitive skins. Which brings us to our brand new Mega Ray High Quality Low UV Flood Lamp, specially designed for use with reptiles, some birds, and even some snakes have been shown benefit from low-level UV, but snakes are very sensitive to bright artificial light, so this must be taken into consideration also. Still more research needs to be done on snakes for this subject. A lot of reptiles, avians, and insects can not only see in the UVA, but use the UVA part of the spectrum to send information and signals to other rivals or potential mates. This makes it a very important part of the visual spectrum to these animals. Now let's start off with habitats. You should buy or build the biggest ones you possibly can for your reptiles, not only to give them room for exercise, but so you can give them multiple basking spots, some with UV and some without, so that they can photo and thermoregulate their bodies. And it also helps to add in a window for them to look out of so that they can keep their internal clock regulated and give them something to do when you're not around. Now let's take a moment and talk about lighting terms. The lighting industry uses lumen on the side of their boxes to show how bright their lights are, but it means the same thing as the lux reading. It's light intensity. They also use color rendering index, or CRI. This is a number between 1 and 100, with the sun being a 100. The higher the number, the more natural colors look underneath that light bulb. Now they also use color temperature or Kelvin, so the lower the number, the more warm and yellow the light will look, and the higher the number, the more blue and cool the light will look. And now on to the UV part of the spectrum. Now UVC is deadly to all living cells and is used in water purification lamps, which you should never use for your reptiles. The UVB part of the spectrum is one of the most important because that is where vitamin D3 is manufactured in their skin. And of course UVA is the fourth color that many reptiles see. Now this brings us to a wonderful new idea as in reptile lighting is a process, not a bulb, telling us that we need to research and plan for the lighting needs of each reptile that we own then select and combine those bulbs together to give them full spectrum lighting for their eyes, which could include red, green, blue, UVA, UVB, heat, and the lux they would see out in the wild. Then we need to safely install and be able to control all those lights using ceramic fixtures and timers if needed. Then we need our meters for UV, lux, and temps so that we can check our bulbs and know when each needs replacing. That way they can better thermo and photo regulate their bodies in their habitats that we make them. Now on a quick note, you want to use ceramic fixtures rated at twice the power wattage of the bulb that you're going to be screwing into them. And you also want to hang those with sturdy hooks and the wires too so that your reptiles cannot pull the lights down onto themselves, get burned, or cause a fire. 
For mounting on walls or ceilings, use toggle bolts or decorative screws that can screw right into a wood beam for safety. Now here on a summer day in Virginia, you can see we have a reading of 176 units on our UVB meter and 107,900 lux on our lux meter and a reading of 5.4 on our UV index meter. Now this is a chart showing the output of the sun. You can see all the wavelengths, all the different colors in the spectrum, and this is what we need to reproduce indoors for our reptiles to see properly. Now here we have one high quality fluorescent UVB tube, but you can see at 12 inches not much UV is actually making it down to the reptile. Now when we test that same light at 12 inches with our lux meter, we only get a reading of 650, which is far too low, and is more like dawn or dusk to them. We are seeing a lot of compact fluorescent UVB lights coming from name brand companies that have moved to China, but keep changing their manufacturers so the quality can vary greatly. Also, the outputs of these lights can vary even more from one fixture to another, so without a UV index meter, you would not be able to know the true output. Tests have shown the outputs of these lights can be from 15 UV units to over 1,500. This can lead to the recent problems seen in these lights, as in photocorrecto conjunctivitis, where the reptile's eyes are burned and swell up. They may also refuse to open their eyes underneath these lights or they try to get as far away from that light source as possible. Then, with low levels of UVB, a lot of reptiles end up with metabolic bone disease, as in this x-ray, you can see the bones of the legs are very thin and look like shadows, while the backbones are fused and the tail is distorted. This lack of quality and consistently safe output of UVB is why reptile UV will not sell cheap, unsafe lights that could cause harm to a loved pet. To compare, this chart shows our mega ray mercury vapor UVB and how much more usable UVB your reptile will get at the same or greater distances. And this will allow your reptile to make more vitamin D3 in their skin and be able to utilize the calcium in the foods they eat. Other brands have moved up to mercury vapor UVB lights, but their quality control is low, as are their materials. Most mercury vapor UVB lights lose up to 80% output in the first 90 days, but the high quality mega ray mercury vapor lights lose only about 30% during their entire lifetime. So not all UVB lights are created equal. 